What's going on guys? This is Miron and welcome to the new video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to create login attempt limit form in Android. So in practical application, we need to grant access to an application's feature if the user enter correct username and password. In case if they forget their credentials, we need to give them a chance to remember their credentials and login into the system up to number of times. Generally, three times is given. Beyond that, we need to develop or we need to build such a system which either does not accept user input or the application need to exit after the number of attempts. This is far more better option for user not to forget their credentials, means be sincere and also for our application because it may crashes if the user try to log in many times into the application. And also one more thing. An unauthorized person cannot try as many times to get login into the user system. That's why we need to limit the login attempt and it should be mandatory to limit the login attempt to our login activity or windows or form whatever you call it. So without further more any explanation, let's do it. Open up Android Studio, go to file, click on new and then click on new project. Give the name of the application. Login attempt and then click next. Select phone and tablet and then uh, select API level whatever you want and then click next. And then select empty activity and then click next. And then click finish. This may take some time to build the Gradle. Wait until that time. Gradle build successfully. Now we need to design a login form. So in order to do so, expand that app directory. Again expand resource, again expand layout and double click that activity underscore main dot XML file. Now let me zoom it, delete that text view, go to text and then drag and drop plain text over here and then drag at the center and another plain text. and expand that and one more button now change the id of his control select that control and here goes txt user and you can also delete this text here goes txt pass and button btn login and the text is login. There you go. We just create a simple login form. Now we need to write the logic. In order to write the logic, expand that Java directory. I can expand that top folder and then double click that main activity dot java file now here we need to declare our control so edit text underscore txt user underscore txt pass and button underscore btn login let me declare one variable and initialize it. So int attempt is equal to 1. And inside this uncreate method, we are going to initialize our control. So in order to do so, txt user is equal to edit text, find view by id, r.id.txt user. Similar process for in the text box underscore btn login is equal to button find view by id r dot id dot btn login now we need to create the listening event of this button so dot set on click listener new view 
dot on click listener now here we are going to write our logic so what we are going to do is we are going to allow the user to enter username and password up to three times so in order to do so if attempt is less than four what we are going to do is i am going to use this method statically means i am going to write the username and password inside this code but if you want to integrate this feature into the application that uses the database you can also integrate this feature also so if txt user dot get text dot to string dot equals admin and txt password dot get text dot to string dot equals admin what i am going to do is i am going to display the message to the user saying that toast dot make test get application context and here goes the message login successfully toast dot length long dot so now else if the user enter uh, username and password do not match what we need to do is we need to display another message so simply copy this and paste over here and change the displaying message that is error and number of attempt is plus attempt and now we need to check if else if attempt is equal to 4 what we need to do we need to display another message we are saying that limit login limit exit and another one condition else if attempt is greater than 4 what we need to do is we need to either you can uh, disable this to text box means uh, user cannot type anything in this text box or you can simply exit this application i am going to exit this application so system dot exit ergo zero now we need to increment our variable that is attempt plus plus by one now i am going to explain how this works when the user enter username and password over this two text box and click login what happens is initially our variable attempt value is one and when the user click this login button what happens is this event is fire and this condition is execute means attempt is less than four means one is less than four condition satisfy and the program enter into this line means if the user enter admin is username and admin is password this message will display otherwise this message will display in saying that error and number of attempt is plus attempt means number of attempt is one and the program exit and jump to this line that means attempt plus plus means the value of attempt is two and again when the user enter username and password and click login button this code is execute means attempt is 2 2 is less than 4 means condition satisfy if the user enter correct username and password that means admin and admin uh, login successful message will display otherwise error and number of attempt is plus attempts means 2 again control jumps to this line and the value of attempt is 3 and again 3 is less than 4 condition satisfy uh, if the user enter correct username and password uh, login successfully otherwise no error and number of attempt is 3 and again control jumps to this line and uh, the value of attempt is 4 4 is less than 4 condition is not satisfied now come to this lc part lc if attempt is equal to 4 4 is equal to 4 condition satisfied and this message will display login limit exceed and again control jumps to this line attempt is plus plus means the value of attempt is 5 now again when the user enter username and password and click that button here this condition is check attempt is less than 5 5 
is less than 4 condition is not satisfy again here in the control jumps to this line means else if attempt is equal to 4 5 is equal to 4 condition again is not satisfy now the program comes over here else if attempt is greater than 4 means 5 is greater than 4 condition satisfy and execute this code means system dot exit means the, our application will close that's it now before running this application we need to do one more thing here uh, it says this view is not constant vertically at runtime this will jump to 0 0 means uh, we need to do one more thing here you can see if you are constant click that button and click that run button select your connected device and then click ok activity is launched now enter the username admin and the password is admin and then click that login button message should display login successfully there you go if you enter uh, other username and password then admin and admin the message should display error and the number of attempt is 2 again number of attempt is 3 if you click again message should display login limit exceed and if you click again uh, application will close so that's it in this video tutorial guys if you like this video share this video with your friends so that they can know about this login attempt limit feature and they can integrate into their application and give thumbs up which really motivates us to create such programming video and stay connected with this channel in order to stay connected with this channel you need to subscribe this channel subscribe this channel and thank you once again for watching this video have a good day bye bye